that we're going to be working with is justice. I joined the fire department last fall. Um, I submitted my application on Mother's Day. Um, I wanted to do something out of the box and something that I've wanted to do for years, but I wanted my children to grow up first a little bit before I did it. So I took the leap and I did it last Mother's Day and I'm so proud of myself for going through all of the recruitment and challenging myself. And that's what I was looking for was a challenge, but also something that I can do for my community that I've grown to love. I've been here for eight years and I'm happy to be a part of an amazing team. Well, obviously there's always a kind of nervous feeling, you know, you want to, we all, and we all feel the same way. We want to we want to show up and we want to, you know, do our best. We want to, you know, we're worried about, you know, are we going to mess up that kind of thing, but it, we're always, we're always a team here. And, and you've noticed is that uh, your friends always become family as well here at Gravener's. So I, if you're if you're motivated and you're willing to to sign up for the challenge, we're more than happy to help you, have you. We're uh, seeking firefighters for all three of our fire stations: the station here in Gravenhurst, the station in Kilworthy, and the station in Ride. Um, we're we're seeking firefighters uh, that or or rec recruiting people rather that uh, have a permanent residence in the area that are at least 18 years of age and have access to uh, a vehicle to respond to the fire station 24 hours a day. Um, the uh, training regime is uh, approximately six months worth to start um, and that is about every other weekend um, to, to bring uh, folks up to, to speed with firefighting basics and uh, to learn what sort of equipment um, and processes and procedures we, we have here in Gravenhurst. And uh, following that six months, um, th those successful applicants will uh, be given a pager and they'll be able to start to respond to emergency, emergency call-outs. Training is, um, it's a lot to do, but um, I'm a family and I've got two kids and a full-time job and I was able to do it all at the same time. So you just have to be ready for that commitment, but um, you've got an amazing crew that's here to help you. Um, I've never once felt like I was lost. Once you're here and you've got questions, ask anyone and they're really eager to help you. I'm always learning, always taking new courses. Uh, and I've loved it since day one, and especially volunteer department. It's a com it's a community uh, community effort, right? And everyone understands that. And it's always re it's always rewarding. I'd rather be nowhere else. And when I, when the tones drop at two in the morning, that's it's it's always it's always a good feeling. We're accepting applicants until June eighteenth, and following that, the successful applications will or successful applicants rather will be contacted and uh, we host an open house that's mandatory for all applicants to, um, to take part in and due to COVID-19 most likely that will be in a virtual format this year and uh, following that if, uh, if candidates have a, a desire to, to move on after, after learning more about what the fire department is about a physical aptitude to test and an interview follows that process. Go for it. Do it. It's worth it. Um, you will feel great and um, it's an amazing team to be a part of.